Okay, yesterday I did a really quick test because I have some new gear here in the studio. This is called the Podcaster Studio channel. So uh, I do podcasts and video tutorials over at thepodcasterstudio.com. So check that out. I have a Rode NTG3 uh, shotgun microphone, which is an amazing microphone, uh, plugged into a Tascam DR60D, which I can look over and see the levels right now. Actually, I should turn those levels up. Let me see. Turn that up a little bit so I'm getting better levels on the task cam. Let me keep coming up. Uh, let's see. The microphone is, let's get the tape measure out. It is, oh, hit that right there. It's about two and a half feet away from me uh, right now. So this is, you know, as far as I'd really want to have to boom somebody. Uh, if I couldn't get within a person's, you know, mouth within two and a half feet above their head, I might go in for a shot underneath them. If it's a really wide shot, um, you may have to go further, but any microphone, uh, the closer you can get it to the speaker's mouth, the better it's going to be within limits. You know, you don't want to be within an inch. You're going to get that proximity effect, but within, you know, a foot is a nice boom range. If possible, depends on the shot. You can hear as I get closer to the mic, the audio will get better. Okay. And so now I'm within a foot and it sounds great. Okay. So that gives you an example of how the audio changes. And you'll hear how nice the audio is compared to the on-camera audio in this short clip uh, with my daughter. And I can even switch here. I'm using a Rode VideoMic Pro on top of the 60D, which it's boomed from the same distance. It's probably not gonna sound a whole lot different, um, but that's the comparison between the two. Okay, and so a couple important notes. Again, I did have my wife operating a boom. She discovered she doesn't want to do that for a living. Uh, your arms get tired really quick. And the main thing for me was to see how the uh, Tascam, or I'm sorry, how the, well, how the Tascam DR60D handled it. Uh, one thing to note is it's on high gain. It's got three levels of gain, it's on high gain. And in that video, it's really quiet. Uh, so I'm impressed with the preamps on the Tascam DR60D but I also wanted to check out the in the Rode NTG3. Um, I would love to have that mic. Uh, I talked about the high gain. I was shooting this with a T2i with a 50 millimeter lens that has a 1.4 aperture. So this lens is not image stabilized. So it is, um, it is tough to get the vibration or not have vibration in your shot when you don't have an image stabilized lens. And one thing I did get recently was this. So here's the camera that I was using. This is a Zacuto Z Finder, and it's just a, it's a loop, basically. It goes on the back of your screen, and it lets you see in bright daylight, uh, get to get focus, and you can see your screen, because it's gonna be really hard to see your screen in bright daylight. You're certainly not gonna be able to get, tell if you're getting really good focus. But another thing this does for you is it gives you that extra point of contact, okay? So you're a lot more stable on your shots. I can hear that truck. So we're picking up a lot of stuff. That's what's fun about monitoring with headphones. I know what I know what I'm getting. But this gives an extra point of contact. So on a non-image stabilized lens, uh, you get one extra thing to hold the lens and the camera body tight to your body, okay? so that's gonna take some of the vibration out. So on a 50 millimeter, 1.4 lens, well, the aperture doesn't matter so much there, but on a 50 millimeter, which on a crop sensor is like 80 millimeters, closer to 80 millimeters, it's not exactly 80, mil 80 millimeters, um, it is hard to maintain a steady shot, but the Z Finder helps with that, and you'll see the shot isn't that bad. It's like there, oh, here comes the recycling, so it's gonna get really loud. So a couple other important notes about the T2i. I did recently just install Magic Lantern on it, and uh, I'm enjoying that. But no, there is a risk to doing that, but um, it is cool, gives you a lot of functionality. I already knew I loved it, but finally got around to playing with it, so I'm just discovering Magic Lantern, and uh, it's really cool. And um, I'm noticing here, just as I move in, just a couple feet, or I'm sorry, just to two feet, instead of two and a half feet, it sounds so much better. Of course, I'm out of focus because the 60D is not gonna keep me in focus, that's the 70D. Um, some other notes, again, I think I mentioned the noise floor on the NTG3. I was in a pretty silent room, unlike today, where it's really echoey, uh, but the room where I'm filming my daughter is pretty quiet with uh, the echo is not too bad, and it's cut down by being closer to the microphone, but the Tascam, uh, if you listen to the noise floor, in the parts where she's either really quiet 
or there's no one talking, it sounds good. And the rejection, my wife and myself, our voices um, are definitely not being picked up as prominent as what's in front of the microphone. So those are some interesting things to listen to uh, while you're watching this tiny little clip. And the only thing I did in post-production was bring the levels up so that they are um, easy for you to hear when you're watching back. And so I added 10 dB of gain in post-production and I didn't notice a significant increase in the noise floor. So it didn't really increase the uh, the hiss that you would get when you have to, if you record low and you have to bring it up, you bring it up the noise floor as well, which is that hissing sound, that background noise. Uh, it did a really good job by letting me bring 10 dB into it and still didn't introduce a lot of noise. So that's also really good. Okay, so I wasn't really planning for this to be a test. I just thought uh, that sharing this might be interesting because I'm experimenting with this gear and I will hopefully do a, a much bigger review of it later on and I'm gonna use it on another shoot. So um, check it out. This is the NTG3 on a road boom pole, which I did notice has a lot of handling noise and the key is not to move your hands, but to move, you know, keep a grip and move the pole, not your hands. Uh, learning on that one as well. But on a boom pole, on the shock mount that the blimp comes on, which is the big giant, you've seen those big giant blimps that you put the microphone inside. I don't have the blimp on, I just have uh, the shock mount part on and uh, going into a Tascam DR60D, so it's being recorded separately. I have to sync this in post-production. Uh, Pluralize, when I'm recording this, Pluralize comes with the Tascam DR60D. It lets, for, lets you automatically sync. Uh, the software automatically syncs all your audio with all your video. Amazing software. And they're gonna have an upgrade that fixes audio drift. So if your recorder gets a little off from the timing in your camera, Pluralize is gonna fix that. I didn't think it could get any more magical but it is, so that's very cool. A good time to get Pluralize for free if you buy the Tascam DR60D using the link in the description of this video. So check that out, see if it's something uh, for you. Check out this brief video where it's on a boom pole and um, I got good results. And I will see you next time. I don't hear the ABCs.